Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to Biggie's Gospel Show. Always a pleasure, always a delight to bring you the word every Friday, I think. Yes, every Friday. Um, uh, I don't know where to start from, but I'm excited to to to, to have you. Um, I hope you've had a fruitful week. Very fruitful, very fruitful. I've had one indeed. And um, yeah, let's dive into the word without uh, any delay, uh, any further delay. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the word that we're going to have. I pray you open our eyes to your understanding, to your revelation, that we may live up to your standard, that we may not conform ourselves to the standard of this world, but uh, we may renew our minds uh, by transforming them daily uh, to your hmm, perfect I've forgotten that verse. Don't be confirmed with as well, but be ye renewed by the be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may have that which is good, acceptable and perfect will. Yes, may we obtain the good and perfect and acceptable will that you have for each one of us. In Jesus' name. I've prayed. Amen. Amen. So uh, I would like to talk about how to create how to create uh the bible has two creation accounts i don't know if you don't mind my whole anyway let me just focus on on the word two creation accounts that that in uh genesis one um of course verse one says god created the heavens and the earth uh and then of course it goes on to say god said let there be light um and we're going to see the difference. We're going to see the differences. When you go to John, John 1, it talks about in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So I'm like, which one was the real beginning? Like, I mean, huh. But we're going to see. Firstly, how do you create? How do you create? How did God create the light? He said, let there be. He spoke. How do you speak? Uh, do you speak by begging God? You know, do you speak, go, God, please take away that's you know, um, take away the, the disease the cancer please give us uh our daily bread i'm not saying, <laughs> that's a lot of prayer but i'm not saying um when you have needs you should go on to ask god all about it and everything if you read mark 11 23 to 24 it talks about what let me just read it for you very well so that you understand what god what jesus instructed us to do for sure i'd like to say to you who save us says to this man, be moved and mixed in the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. You will have whatever you say. And you remember, remember Jesus was hungry and then he went to the fig tree and didn't have any figs. He didn't have no figs. And then he's like, no one shall eat from you from this day henceforth. And it happened. It happened. Notice that uh, the disciples came back the following day. When Jesus spoke, he moved away. He didn't bother looking at it. 24 hours later they come back and then of course we're saying oh jesus look at the tree that you cast hey it's 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 dried up to the roots now that's where most of our problem is many of us are declaring things many of us are creating things by our mouth you remember um proverbs oh i don't know it's proverbs 18 21 death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit Death and life are in the power of the tongue. No wonder Jesus was able to say, um, no one shall eat of you from this day henceforth. And it happened. Uh, and so God is, is calling you and I to move away from a place of begging him. To move away from the place of uh, uh, command. Command what you want to see and it shall be. Uh, that's, what I, that's what he's trying to say. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, God, I hope I'm communicating. <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, breathe in, breathe out. Now, let me give a, 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 <clears throat> a difference between creating versus speaking. If you notice, um, uh, Genesis 1, 1 says, God created the heavens and the earth. Then, of course, the next things come. He, then he say, let there be light and the light, you know, wha, wha, and, and light, you know, became. Let there be, um, let the day rule the, sorry, let the light, uh, there's a the light, the sun, the moon, and the stars to rule the day, and then, sorry, the sun to rule the day, and then the moon and the stars to rule, to rule the night. He's speaking these things, but as I asked myself during my study that God, the first verse says, uh, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God didn't speak the heavens into being. 
Ha, ha, ha. There's no verse that says, when God spoke, let there be heaven. No, he just says created. Though he didn't say he spoke. So, God is trying to say, creating involves the invisible face and visible face. You know, like I have thoughts and action. Let me say, you want to start a business, the thought came, the idea came, but we could not see you know, let me give a, a better example. In uh, Genesis 2, was it? No, 1, he says on the sixth day, he created man. He said, let, let's create man out of our own image. You know, da 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 Then in Genesis chapter 2, I think it's verse 8, when he says, and God formed man. So you notice there are two phases here. When God created man, he had an image of him in his head. Like, oh, okay, he's going to look like this. And then, you know, he's still designing, contemplating, sketching in his mind. Just like a pregnant woman, there is a baby inside, there's a baby in the womb, but then because you can't see it, you who's on the outside, doesn't mean the child is not developing. So you can say that the child was already created inside. Many of us will say the child was born, you know, uh, the child was born the day, oh sorry, many of us shall say the child was some, okay. Eh, okay, that's a funny, that's a, that's a funny example. But um, back to what Jesus did to the fig tree, right? A man and woman have, 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 have known each other just like Adam and Eve know, knew, knew each other. And then so the man puts the seed in the woman's womb. And so the baby is growing inside. But just because you don't see the baby coming, you know, the, 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 the belly bulging doesn't mean the baby is not existent. It goes back to if God is telling us to create by speaking. When, when he said, let there be light and then there was light. Maybe some of you are trying to speak some scriptures and they seem not to be coming to pass. And then you're stressed. You're saying, God, you're a liar. Yet the Bible says, God is not the man that you should lie <laughs> so the trick is you have to stick to it you have to keep on keep on and i'm going to give you a nice story a nice story uh back up from the scriptures of why god is encouraging us to because we are leaving our dispensation we're seeing so much unbelief on the tvs we're seeing so much unbelief on the radios hey the prices have hiked up hey the depression is back here and so your faith is being attacked from every angle every every angle trying to get more light here from every angle your faith is being you know uh it's being attacked so just like the baby grows you have to keep speaking 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 that i am favored i am beautiful i'm blessed high schoolers no not even high schoolers personally boys girls i'm sure you, all of us have you know you go through um the beauty blues you know <sighs> today you look feel like you look fine 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 tomorrow you look like ugly ugly so you just Settle it in your heart. You're beautifully and wonderfully made. Now, some of us are, are saying, I'm beautifully and wonderfully made. Day one, day two, day three. Okay, let me use the examples of babies, right? Nine months. Month one, month two, it's growing, it's growing, it's growing. It's coming to perfection. Then on month number eight, day 360, just when the baby is about to give birth, then you say, eh, but this one doesn't work. Then you retaliate and you tear down everything you've been speaking you life you were speaking life initially and now you've started speaking death because you're not seeing the thing and then the bible says walk by faith and not by sight hello hello walk according to what god has said and not what you are saying so keep speaking it until it it, it becomes and i'm going to give us a great testament let me even say it now before i forget it i remember in 2018 my mom had bought for me a beautiful laptop and then i got robbed three months down the road and growing up in uganda you know how expensive <laughs> it could be uh, she's a single mom so you know you can understand the whole ruckus and so i'm going back and i tried i told myself i'm going to raise money to buy a new laptop you people i failed i failed and so i went back to the word and i said you know what i'm going to speak this thing into being just like god spoke into you know the word i spoke well, it was july august thank you god for the laptop nothing december january 2020 sorry 2019 could i thank you for my laptop could i thank you for my laptop could i thank you for my lap nothing is happening nothing is happening nothing is happening hey Oh, sorry, something has come up on my screen and I don't know how. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing to the screen. Mm, I was going to thank you, Jesus. Okay, I think I'm back now. Yes, I kept on speaking. 2019, 2020, nothing. But I, thank you, Lord. I have a laptop. I have a laptop. Ha, ah, it's beautiful. It's black. You know, those extra, extra things. It has Icoa something. Like, you know, those processing speed. Yeah, I kept on speaking, speaking. 
And just when uh, I never spoke ill because I know what the law says, <laughs> the law of creation. I joined this leadership group. Uh, it's a course, and in, within that course, we're supposed to. Uh, there is one of the modules was about us sharing gifts, generosity uh, of kings was one of the modules whereby you pick a name. It's like sacred center. You pick a name of a person. You find out what they need, and then you buy it for them. So someone uh, picked my name. I didn't know who the person was, but the person was um, apparently doing homework. And so I told them, I want a laptop and nothing else. But now I noticed not everyone was, you know, uh, picked up your name, uh, is able to afford the kind of gift you need. Someone may say, I need a car, but I can't afford it. Yet you have to do the assignment. And so I just believed anyway. Now I was gifted a laptop, which was worth 1.65 million Uganda shillings. Those watching us from abroad, my friends. Uh, our currency is a bit it shall stabilize in the name of jesus but it's a bit you know uh because uh, a dollar in uganda shillings about three six hundred uganda shillings something like that but bottom line is i received that after two and a half years of speaking it into being that didn't mean it wasn't created already but like i've already given you the example of a baby growing 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 it was coming it was coming it was coming it was coming and now finally nine months down the road of course nine months is relative it, the nine months for a baby was equivalent to two and a half of my side a laptop was created it manifested and i had it the same way god, jesus said uh, god said that be like now notice god's timing is different from ours right uh they say a thousand days to God is like, uh, is, sorry, um, how does that scripture go? Uh, better is one day with you than a thousand else. Hmm, I forgot about that. A thousand years to God is like a day. No, a thousand years on earth is like a day to God. Like that, 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 some, somewhere in the New Testament. Now, if a thousand years is like a day to God, God said it there be light. It happened in one day. What if the light took a thousand, your, your lifetime years to appear? Why do you get what I'm trying to say? To God, it was a... But then they don't tell you how long it took for the light to manifest. I don't know if you get my... What I've just said. Because spiritual time is different from earthly time anyway. But I pray that... That that, um, that, that uh, uh, example... Uh, it... Uh, made it encourage you for whatever you need. I don't know whether it's um, marriage, whatever... But keep speaking it in the same direction. It it it, <laughs> it won't come back to your void. Amen. Um, I will add all that beautiful all that, but let's continue. So you know, creation, creation, and making are different, right? I've imagined, uh, and and the mind is going to come many times during this creation phase. Mind, 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 everything is up here. Then when you speak it, it comes out. That's how God did it. And so if we're creating his own image, I deem that we should be creating things the same way. That's why he's giving you his word so that you can say, if he has said, um, I'll give you houses you didn't build. Now imagine yourself receiving a gift of a house. Now it's in your head. Just like I imagined the laptop. Hallelujah. Just like I imagined the laptop. And I kept on speaking that same word every day, every day. And no wonder I got the laptop. No wonder I'm going to get that house. Yes, for free. I mean, you guys, why? Why have so? Use the word. I'm going to get a free house that I didn't build. That's, I think, Deuteronomy 6, 10, it says, I'll give you goodly cities that you didn't build, beautiful houses that you did not, filled with good things that you did not fill. <gasps> My friend, I'm not here to hustle. Psh, I receive it in Jesus' name. So, you know, baby, in the womb, plume you and seed before ground. If you plant seeds in the ground, it doesn't mean nothing. No activity is going on under. Uh, the roots are taking shape and they're growing and they're growing and they're growing. And of course, the farmer doesn't worry about the, 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 the seeds process. He just plants and then moves on. And then after one month, you see it all coming to pass. Three months, it's bringing forth fruit. And of course, you know that the word uh, is seed. So, uh, because you can't see it, doesn't mean it's non-existent. I've already mentioned that. Uh, God's mind, thought, uh, to justify God's way of creation. Remember, he, he called Abraham a father before Abraham had a child. He called Gideon a man of valor when the man was totally a negative thing. Um... He called Sarai, Sarah, meaning, I think, mother of nations. Yet she was not. But in the end, they all became what God was calling them. God was speaking them. What God was named them. He named him father of nations. He became a father of nations. Though he was not seeing it, I think he walked by faith as well eventually. But do you see that? Do you see how God kept on calling them and they eventually became? 
That's the same thing God is calling you to do now. That's how you create. He kept on saying, Abraham. I've even changed the name from Abra, Abraham to Abraham. You know, change the names, whatever. Whatever you need to do. <laughs> you need to change them. Change what. I am sure you get the point. So, um, yes, uh, back to the point where, sorry if I'm jumping, but I know I'm not going to lose you. God created the heavens. He didn't speak the heavens into being. When I asked him that question, that what really happened here? He said that, you know, he says that God is spirit, right? And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. I think that's John, either chapter four, chapter six. I'm not so sure. Yes, in spirit. So I was telling you that for the spiritual realm, imagination is enough to create i'm sure many of you have had deja vus or you imagine something a thought hits you and then you say oh my god you guys thought about that thing and it has come to happen ah, i had a flashback of this you know and the problem is some of us when we get some negative thoughts now we we don't cast them down as second corinthians 10 5 tells us to you're supposed to cut it down by your lips too because some of them are from the enemy and when it drops them in your mind knowing that you're a spirit just your imagination is enough to power them up to give them life because you're created in god's image and god is a spirit so when he created the heavens when he imagined heavens they came to be without him necessarily speaking them to pass i don't know if i am having you the thought process is enough to create it but now earth is um a plane where both physical and spiritual intersect. That's why both the thoughts can create and also speaking can create. Now the earth does not have a spirit. Though it can hear, it does not have a spirit like you. Because it was not created out of God's image. So that's why you need to speak so that it can hear and then, um, and then it can manifest what's unseen. Backing up all these points of the thought process, right? Like imagining is enough to create. Uh, Proverbs 23, 7 says, As a man thinketh, so is he. That's enough. That's enough. So careful what you're thinking. Careful what you're thinking. In Uganda here, many of us are watching from Uganda, I'm sorry. But then we've had people who keep saying, uh, the new moon to our one thing. They keep... I know there are those kind of people, but then Montua Wansi for our international days uh, literally means I'm a person. The literal translation is I'm a person from down, meaning I'm a, I'm a peasant. I'm you know I'm the poor person of the community, etc. etc. And people keep speaking these things, and then they're wondering why they are not progressing in life. Why they're the ones who are always asking for money. Why they're always the one. Some of them are even joking, but my friends, don't joke about these things. Your tongue is creating life, even to those who feel like they're not born again. Hello. Um, default by default, we were all created out of God's image by default. So there is that. Even if they lack the greater understanding, there is still that minimal power that creates whatsoever you speak. First, First Corinthians six seventeen says that we are one spirit. He was a joint. He that joined to the Lord is one spirit with Him. So you can see that that's why when you imagine, you create. Just like God imagined the heavens and they came to be. Now, the second account in John 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was with, was with God in the beginning. And verse 3 says, um, All things were made by Him. Nothing, uh, let me just read it for you literally, so that I don't continue uh, hustling. Oh, come on, come on. All things are made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. Nothing was made that was made without him. That means everything you see, even the chair I'm sitting on, it was made by him because God made man and man made this. So within God's deep, you know, <laughs> in his image that he bore us out of, he had chairs within deep down there, TVs, phones, radios, everything, everything, umbrellas, uh, formatic cars laptops, everything was within the man that God made because it's the same man who has invented everything. Now you notice that in the beginning was the word in the beginning. How to create in the beginning. He was in the beginning with God, verse 2. That means what God needed in the beginning to create everything was the word. Now this is giving us um, the quality of what we are creating and the number one requirement for creation that is the word the word of god because it's saying and the word was god god's nature is the word in the beginning was the word all things were made through him 
No wonder the fig tree has to obey him when he speaks. No wonder the ocean has to obey when he speaks because all things were made by him. God, his nature is the word. He's literally the, the nature of, how can I say? The creator of all things is... Pa, 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 pa. Oh, oh, oh. How can I? The creative force is God. Mm. It's like how we say water is wet, whether it's ice or steam. So the word is not separate from God. Ah, uh, God help me out. The thing that creates is not separate from God. Um, the nature of the thing that creates is God's very nature. Mm, I hope I'm not losing you. Jesus. Help me out. Help me out. Flipping more nods. I'm flipping more nods. <laughs> so it's the, it's the requirement. It's the requirement. Um, it's the requirement for creation. For creation. I'm sorry. I'm, it's like I'm having those funny, funny speech blocks when you when you when you you know speaking and then you seem to be i bind you blockage in the name of jesus i have to preach and i finish very well um yes so okay if the word was with god in the beginning if all things were made by the word right mm -hmm. um how can i say if all things were made by the word and God was the word. That means his very nature is a state of being. The, the, the nature of creation is his very nature of being. It's, it's his, how, just like I'm black, right? Just like I'm black. The word of God that created everything is God's very own nature. If my nature as a black African if if the word I speak creates everything and then that word is me, right? That word is me. That means even when I imagine, remember the word that creates is me. So when I imagine even the word, which is my nature, also creates because the word that creates is my very own nature. So even if I just imagine, everything just becomes. Oh God, I hope that sank. I hope that sank. I hope that I hope that hit the nail home. Mm. The substance that creates all the things that you see was the word. And now John 1 has just told us that that substance was with God, but then that substance is God. If that substance is me and I create, if I'm the substance that creates and that substance is my nature. I only need to imagine because by default, I am going to create. That's why Isaiah 55, 11 says, um, just like the, from verse 10 to 11 says, um, just like the, uh, the rain falls from the sky and, and, and waters the earth and does not re return void and, and the snow comes back, uh, sorry, falls the same way and does not return void. So will my word be like, God's word default characteristic and attribute is to create. So if you don't have it, don't be shocked when what you are believing for, well, what you wish you have in life is known with you because you are missing the creative force. You are missing the creative characteristic once. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. But now once you understand this knowledge, and this is an interesting part. Uh, First Peter 1.23 says, You've been born again of the word of God that lives and abides forever. Like, if a dog produces a dog and if a lion produces a lion, if the word of God has produced you, you've been born again, it's the one that has mothered you again. When you say you're born again, it's like your nature... Uh, humans, 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 humans are the ones who give birth to you. Like a mother gives birth to a child. Like a lion gives birth to a... A lioness gives birth, birth to a cub... So, what First Peter 1 Peter 1.23 is trying to say that if you've been born again of the incorruptible seed, which is the word of God, which lives and abides forever. If you've been born, it's your mother. The word of God is your mother. So that means your nature is the word of God. <laughs> but now, backtrack, backtrack. Remember what I've just spoken about the word, right? It's default nature. Eh? Is to create. It's to create. Whether you want it or not. Whether you want it or not, it shall not return for it. Well, so, so, if that's your nature, just like I've said, you know, so you just have to replace 
state if your name is jonah right if, if your name is jonah and 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 and, and john one one is saying now I'm, I'm trying to put it in your um perspective if it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god so if the <laughs> if Mm? You've been born again of the word of God, and so the word of God is your mother, and now you are the word of God. That means in the beginning was the word, and the word was with Yona, and the word was Yona. That means you are the word, the thing that created everything you see. You have its same nature, its same substance, its characteristic, your its embodiment. That means be also careful what you're always <laughs> imagining or speaking. Because if you ever, if you've understood this that you create and you just uselessly speak, <laughs> and if you just you misuse your mouth, you misuse your tongue, you're gonna end up. If if no wonder um, God said, oh, "Bless those who bless you and curse those who curse." If someone wrongs you and then you speak ill, be careful because that ill could come to pass. Now that you've understood what your nature is, right? Uh, of course, God had to intervene many times when when um. When you remember that time when we when, when wanted to kill the Israelites in the desert, Moses is like, no, please don't kill them. You you rescued them. What will other people say? What will other people say? You know, whatever God says comes to pass, right? Unless, you remember, unless Hezekiah's story. Now, that's a whole different someone. But now I'm focusing on the word of God as your nature. And, and of course, it has given birth to you. And, and we're speaking about how we want to create the future we want to stop begging God and understand that you have, you have the nature that, okay, what makes God God is what you are made of. The substance that makes God God is what is in your spirit. And I know I'm going to receive backlash from people who don't understand it. But oh well, who want to be if I don't preach gospel? <laughs> they'll be fine. They'll be fine. The Holy Spirit will help them. We we asked him to help to help with him. So um. Let me give the proof of the being, the nature of the word. Uh, l- let me put it in perspective. If the word says, um, you shall cast out demons, you shall cleanse the lepers, you shall heal the sick, right? 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 That is the word. But now if that's the thing that has given birth to you, the reproduction, if a, if, if a bean seed has been planted and then it brings fruit and then it has given birth to more beans. So that they're also beans. They're not jackfruit. They're not of a different nature. They're the same thing. So if the word has said, you shall... Um, you shall cast out demons, and that thing has produced you. So you, you, you are no longer Yona. You are casting out demons. Like that's your nature. Like your demon caster. No wonder. Okay, let me say. Um, you shall heal the sick. That's the word. Heal the sick. Now the, the word has given birth to you. Your name is no longer Yona. Your name is heal of the sick. So if you are, let me. That's why when men of God, I'm going to give an example. This um, the great man. Uh, uh, of God uh, within Uganda, he was going to preach somewhere, um, a crusade, a crusade, he was coming to for a crusade and he was supposed to be there on a Thursday, right? He was supposed to be there on a Thursday. It said that the Tuesday before demons, like, the, the, uh, his day had not been actually announced. You know when it's, when it's, when it's, when it's, when a lot of stuff is happening and, and then, okay, the, the congregation didn't know that day he was going to come. So that demon started panicking. Oh my God! You know, you know how demons be. Okay, I can't act it out, but I'm like, oh. <laughs> he's coming. He's coming on Thursday. He's coming on Thursday. He, like, like, that's how the things were like speaking through the people. Now, remember the example I've just given you. Demon kasta. You get that's your nature. Like you, you, that's your state of being. You just walk into a place and whatever kind of demon, whether African traditional society, Nigerian, <laughs> Nilotic. You just come into the place and it has to be cast out. That's why the Benny Hins of this world, when they come there, they're not even, before they even start speaking, they just need to be in a place and <sighs> quagmire. The devil is left in the group. <sighs> the devil is calling an Uber. <laughs> the devil is calling an Uber. <laughs> the devil is calling for a safe border. <laughs> Cancer is running. Tuberculosis. Hey, everything is running. Because the very nature of God has stepped into that place. Now, every promise of God, yes and amen. Uh, if it has said, um, let me use this, uh, Psalm, Psalm 112 verse 3 says, Wealth and riches are in your house. That is the word. Now that thing has given birth to you. So your nature when you come into a place is, Wealth and riches are in my house. 
Oh, if the word has says you're fearfully and wonderfully made, now it's no longer just you speaking it, it you are that scripture. When you look at me, I am fearfully, like, I am fearfully and wonderfully made in the flesh. You know how, the, how we, John says uh, the word became flesh? Now if the word of God has given birth to you, you have also become the word of God in flesh. So hey, get every promise and put it in the flesh. Get every promise and put it in the flesh. Get every promise and put it in the flesh. If it says, um, I've given you power and authority to trample over snakes and scorpions and all power of the enemy. Now, like... That's why when I come into a place, and even if I've not spoken anything, I'm the power in flesh to tramp over snakes and scorpions. That's why you've seen, you've seen, you've seen these things on TV. You, you're going to see me still soon, but you've seen preachers who come and they just stand, and demons are running. Yeah, you just and others just go, and some of them even whisper in the slightest one, and then things are running like because now that's the thing. That's the thing. That's why now you, you, you can see the backup. That's why God imagined, created the heavens, and then they just became to be. Now, um, where am I? Yes, the other backup is Galatians 2.20. Um, it says, it's not I who lives, but Christ lives in me. Right? Right? So, if it's no longer, if it's no longer you're not living, then it's Christ living. Like, and of course, God was. If you, if, you, if you don't like the other justification of... Um, uh, what? What? You've been born again with any copy word? You can just say, it's no longer I that lives in, I that lives, but Christ lives in me. And of course, the word that says, in the beginning, and the word was God, and the word was God, and, and, the, word, and the word was Christ, and it's no longer Christ that lives in you, but, sorry, it's no longer you that lives in you, but Christ lives in you, and Christ is the word. So, psh, psh, do you get the idea? I'm sure you've got at the point. Now, let me add to, um, if, for instance, the word says, no evil shall befall you, I love this verse. Imagine you're in a boat. There's one time I survived. Uh, I didn't, okay, I won't say I survived. But um, I'm on the border and then it it hits a car and then the, I stood off and, and, and stood and it somersaulted and the, and the border guy, oh, he survived. He didn't get any injury. But what was on my mind was, no evil shall befall you. <laughs> So that's in the flesh. When you look at me, I am. No evil shall befall me. You get the point. So get all your favorite scriptures. I don't know what your favorite scripture is, but get it, get it and picture yourself as a moving that scripture, like moving. Picture yourself as that scripture moving. Now I'm going to take us to Genesis 2 to wind up. As I'm winding up, I'm going to uh, justify the speaking and the creating. Um, Genesis 2, Genesis 2, Genesis 2. Uh, all of us remember the Garden of Eden, right? Um, but you're going to discover something. Of course, God, uh, uh, if you have your Bibles, Genesis 2 verse 7 says, uh, uh, this is after God breathed into man and he became a living soul. Verse 8 says, and the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. Now notice that Eden was like a country and the Garden of Eden was like a district in that country, Right? Eden was huge, but then there's the Garden of Eden. I want you to pay critical attention to what you're going to discover. Um, God put man in the garden. Verse 9 says, And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that's pleasant to the sight, good for evil, the tree of life in the midst of the garden. Verse 10, um, And the river went out of Eden. Out of Eden to water the garden. So you can see that Eden was bigger and the garden was smaller. But the river went out of Eden to water the garden and from there it was parted and it became into four heads, right? The name of the first was Pishon, uh, which compassed the whole land of Havila, where there is gold. The, and the gold of that land is good. There is bedlam and the onyx stone. I think those are precious jewels. Don't, don't, don't get lost. We're coming. Verse 13. And the name of the second river is Gihon or Gihon. The same compasses goes around the whole land of Ethiopia. The name of the third river is Hidekel. That is it which, go, it which goes toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and keep it. 
now you guys are going to be astonished at what i discovered when i did the research about all of these beautiful okay you know deltas of rivers many of us who have grown up in africa you know river nile as it's leading into the Mediterranean. it branches into four forks right so the river branches into four so now imagine the god the, the river that's flowing out of eden entering the garden comes as one then it branches into four now i started the meaning of all these four words and you guys are going to be so amazed the first river was called Pishon, right? Pishon is a Hebrew word that means changing uh, the extension of the mouth. Changing the extension of the mouth. Uh, well, that's uh, that's what that's what that's verse um, that's verse eleven. You know, changing the extension of the mouth, and it says it encompasses the whole land of Havila, where there is gold. Havila means to circle, travel along. Uh, along a covered path to circle you, you notice a circle has no start no end so you're just critically circling circling you're taking the same path Pishon is saying changing the extension of the mouth changing the speaking changing the extension of the mouth have you like saying covered path circle path it's, it's symbolism repeat what you're saying and then have you like this good gold we all know that the word of God is much more precious than gold, right? So, it's like this. Now we are, we've seen three words: Pishon, Havila, where there's good gold. Changing the extension of your mouth, speaking, hmm? Havila, circling around, speaking the same things. The gold representing the word of the Lord. Oh, hang on, I'm taking you. Gihon, the third river, means bursting forth or oh, gushing, gushing, gushing out. You know. Forth. Gihon was the third river, uh, and it says it, 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 um, verse 3, sorry, verse 14 says it goes toward the east of Assyria, and uh, oh, sorry, sorry, Gihon, it encompasses the whole land of Ethiopia, which means Kush, right? Now, Kush means a land of black men that can't reverse their dark skin, right? So, Pishon is saying, changing the extension of your mouth, speaking, right? Havila saying the same thing over and over again, Sako, right? good uh, the gold the word of the lord right gihon bursting forth gushing you know you're speaking 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 unending and stopping unending and stopping and kush is the ethiopia land land of black men that can't reverse their dark skin do not reverse what you're speaking this goes back to the matter i was telling you at the very beginning that some of us are speaking I'm beautiful, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh, or maybe you've been rejected your whole life and now you're starting to speak the word of favor over your life. And month one, month two, you're not seeing the favor coming through. And then you feel like, mm -mm, there is no favor. The Bible is a lie. God is lying. He's not. See, and of course, there's the law of first mention. Hmm? I hope I'm not going ahead of myself. Let me first finish. Let me first switch the river. Sorry, sorry. So, he they kill. This is River Tigris. I'm sure some of you are familiar with River Tigris. Huh? That's where it's around. Mm, is it Turkey? That that land. That's where Garden of Eden was initially uh, on the global map. So Tigris or Hidekel means sharp and swift. Hidekel means sharp and swift. Tigris means a dart. And as you remember, it says that Hidekel um, went toward the east, the east of Assyria. Assyria means son of Ashur, which in brackets also means warlike or dawn finally the last river was euphrates and that was all that the bible says but euphrates means that which makes fruitful now if you notice the one main river that came branching into four uh, if you read all of the meanings at once the, the first rivers it's saying pishon extension of your mouth uh, the second one says circling a, 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 along a curved path. You know, we've gotten the word of God. You're speaking it over and over again. You know, the word of God, gold. Uh, the third river, given bursting forth. You know, um, there's a scripture that says, out of the banners of the heart, sorry, a, a mouth speaks, something like that. So if you don't have the word of God in your heart, there is no way you're going to keep doing circling because it has to gush forth. It has to, hey, an ending, an ending, an ending. Uh, and of course, with, without you reversing it, Kush, like the, the, the land of the dark skin, you, I can't undo my dark skin. Of course, people have discovered bleaching agents. But, okay, you know, this is, the, the Bible is written, the, imagine you're living in 6,000 years before. There is no cosmetics. There is no fair and lovely. You're dark, baby, you're dark, 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 <laughs> dark like Ethiopia. And you can't undo that. God is saying, keep speaking continuously, covered path, bursting forth, 
not reversing what you're saying, not reversing what you're saying, not reversing what you're... you remember my testimony. I didn't stop giving thanks for the laptop. I didn't say, ah, man, God is taking forever. You're lying. It won't come through. I didn't stop. I continued. He declares, sharp and swift, the, 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 the scripture that says, uh, your word is swift, O oh Lord. Um, you know, even even Hebrews 4.12 or 4.8, uh, sharper than any double-edged sword, the word of God is swift, amplified, and it's swift, 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 it's swift, it's swift, it's swift, it's swift, like a dart, like an arrow. Uh, uh, Assyria says, dawn. So, you know, it's, you're speaking continuously, not reversing, it's going to become swift and sharp. And then you're afraid, it's the final river, it's going to become fruitful. What are you saying? Keep saying it continuously, good, continuously. And then that's why you've seen, uh, um, unfortunately, we have been doing, the, the, we have carried out this whole ceremony of these rivers unknowingly. We have been telling our children how stupid they are, how dumb they are. We've continued saying that thing over and over again. We've made it burst forth out of our mouths. We've not reversed what we've said. And we've made that fruitful. If, you know, you remember our parents growing up and then saying, you're dumb, why did God give me this shit child? And then the child, the future is a mess because the parents spoke that. Now to undo that, we have to use the same system. Turn your legs, your mouth, speaking, speaking continuously, busting forth and ending, not reversing what you want to see. If it's favor, if it's favor, if it's favor, keep speaking favor. Keep, if it's promotion, keep speaking promotion. It's not necessarily supposed to be a scripture per se, but though the scriptures should be your foundation with which you use to, to carry out this, um, how can I call it, hack or process or procedure. And it's going to, be, it's, it's going to, make, it, it's going to become fruitful, just like we've already said in, uh, in his word in Isaiah 55, 11, it shall not return unto him void. Now, as I'm winding up this time around, <laughs> It says that the river flowed out of Eden to the Garden of Eden, right? These are waters. And we know uh, from Isaiah, we realize that waters mean the spirit. You remember the beginning, it said, uh, in the beginning, the earth was dark and, and it had no form. And the spirit of God hovered over the waters. Now, notice that the, water was, the waters were also not created. They were just separated. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So God created the heavens and the earth, but then he's saying the earth already had the waters. So he separated the waters of the sky and then the ones and then the lakes and then the rivers. So notice that God didn't speak. He didn't say, God said, let there be water. And there was water. So just like the heavens were created, have you, you noticed even in the, in, the, in, in, in Revelation, sorry for, for, for the back, back, background uh, noise, even in Revelation, um, there's water in the kingdom of God, like, and, and heaven is a spiritual place. So you're asking yourself, how did the spiritual thing cross over to our earth? Because God imagined, he didn't even speak, just created by imagination, right? But of course, what does mean the spirit? And just as I said, the words that I speak to you, they are uh, spirit and they are life. So waters, spirit, Jesus. Reversely, the waters before splitting means the word. Going through four main stages. Right? Uh, Pishon, Havila, Gihon, um, and I think Hedek, sorry. Pishon, uh, Havil, Pishon, Gihon, Hideke, Hifer, it's the four stages. But then remember, the, the, the example I've just told you, um, the waters mean the spirit, and then Jesus said, the words that I speak to you. So reversely, the waters are the word, you know, the word, waters, spirit. I hope that has sunk. Let me just say it one more time. The waters, the river, means spirit. And Jesus said, the words that I, the words that I speak to you are Spirit and life. That means the river, waters, spirit, life, the words, the river is originally the word. Hallelujah. So, and and um, there is the law called the law of the first mention, but the thing, the, the way the thing appears first in the Bible uh, should be the same context you carry with it throughout the whole Bible. So every time you see a river, think of the word. Think of that spirit. The way we've just I've just narrated to you, it will it will, there is a revelation. For example, if the Bible says um many rivers shall flow out of your belly, it's trying to say many uh, spiritual attributes, many revelations shall flow out of it doesn't just say because not, like I mean explain to me how rivers are going to come out of your body. Explain to me how water you're going to just be giving birth of water. Explain to me how that's going to work. Huh? So do you see how how deeper study is going to help us today? You understand? You understand? Many rivers will flow out of you. Many revelations. As you read the word, many things are going to be clicking. 
many things are going to be clicking though that also has its own exegesis but let's carry on so now that you've noticed it's about speaking i i came to conclude that the river concludes a river uh, the, the river means tongue tongue because tongue speaking continuously you know <laughs> so i said tongue so and it flowed into a garden a garden is representing seed time and harvest seed time and harvest right genesis 8 22 says as long as the earth remains seed time and harvest shall never cease planting is a form of creation right adam wasn't wasn't placed in eden but the garden of eden god is saying that he placed you you as his child you as Jonah, in a god he gave you the mandate to plant to recreate to recreate and now remember you're in the garden there's a river that's flowing right into four parts finding you in the garden where the river poured into the garden the garden represents the ground the heart the heart out of the abundance of of the heart the mouth speaks um above all else guard your heart because out of it flows the issues of life so god is not speaking about just us getting his word but getting his word into our hearts now the river that's watering into the garden is our tongue the meditation of our tongue we're speaking we are reading storing in our hearts speaking it out speaking it out it's coming to life remember god's nature is the word so he's ready the word that you're reading and putting back into your spirit so even but you've also noticed that when you meditate on a scripture let's say by his stripes i was you were healed right if it's in your heart and you're speaking then you start speaking it speaking it uh extension of your mouth continuously round about gushing forth it makes fruitful you are your friends it makes fruitful it makes fruitful it makes fruitful guard your heart for out of it flows the issues of life issues of life that means it may not necessarily be a scripture that you're quoting but what you want to see come to life maybe you've not had a child for a long time of course thankfully exodus says um i've forgotten what exodus says <laughs> but at some point this is where i talked about um None of them shall carry. None of them shall be barren. Something of that sort. Now imagine speaking that over and over. You plant the, the word is seed. You are in the Garden of Eden. Garden of Eden. God is saying, plant the seed. Plant the seed. Now speak it. Speak it. Speaking it. You have already said that the river is the tongue. River is the tongue. River is the tongue. So if you are Lona, just get the word, store it up, speak it. Um, whatever your name is, oh, I'm not, of course, don't you know. Uh, let me just stick to the word. Let me just mention, <laughs> let me just mention names. So, the justification God gave me when I when I concluded that the river is that it represents the tongue. He gave me the dream of Pharaoh. Remember, Pharaoh dreamt. Um, out of river now came seven fat cows that was followed by seven thin cows. Right? <laughs> He's saying the tongue. Th- that that is a uh, symbolism for power, uh, the death and life are in the power of the tongue because the fat cows represented life the thin cows represented death both of them came out of the river the river is the tongue death and life lie in the power of the tongue um so what's your what's your tongue speaking if it's evil then evil you'll have if it's good, then good you will have. The final, the final, the final uh, justification I have is the same river that drowned the Israelite babies. You remember uh, when Pharaoh wanted to kill all the babies born by the Hebrew men? The same river that was drowning children, baby Moses was on top floating. God is showing say that the same tongue that kills is the same tongue that can save you. So that's how we create in general what are you speaking it's the matter of what are you speaking it's a matter of what are you declaring is it evil is it good what are you speaking over your children what are you speaking over your job over your career what are you speaking over your future what are you speaking over your spouse are you saying ah you no longer beautiful or you just keep on saying he renews your youth he renews my spouse's youth he renews my spouse's beauty as the ego the longer i live the brighter i shine the longer i live the younger i look the tongue has both evil and good this is a justification of um not only proverbs 18 21 but it's taking us back to the speaking the creating remember our someone today is how to create how to create so be careful because of the revelation you've received today. Um, I'm praying to God that he will keep you. And may he, you know, the, the, the psalmist says somewhere that 
Lord, may you keep put a muzzle on my mouth. When you receive this, some, uh, we have to be very careful so that we don't curse those that God wants us to bless or, or out of anger. You remember how Moses struck, struck the rock? Sorry, did he strike the rock twice when God had told him to speak to it? Out of anger, we can end up misusing the power that we've received, the tongues that we've received, which are rivers to create. But I know, I know that the Spirit will be around to guide you, to protect you, so that you do not misuse the revelations that you've received. So, uh, Holy Spirit, we want to thank you so much for the word that you've given us today. We thank you that we've learned how to create in um, how you always create. We want to think that our nature, firstly, is the word. It's our being. It's our form. Uh, when we walk into places, whatsoever we speak, whatsoever we imagine, can't return void. Just like you created the heavens. We pray that we may harness this power to create whatsoever you want us to create. If it's heaven on earth, let it be. Uh, we shall drop the, 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 the imagination in our mind. If it is wealth, if it's breaking the backbone of poverty in Africa, in Asia, wherever you are watching from. I, I am encouraging you to speak. Uh, pray, 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 pray in the background wherever you are. Um, whatever you've received. Um, Repair Lord, whatever you want us to use with this revelation, this knowledge, may we uh, apply it effectively, continuously, with knowledge and wisdom uh, for the glory of your name. We speak favor over ourselves, we speak promotion over ourselves, we speak wisdom over ourselves, we speak every promise that you've said over us into us. We thank you for our nature, that whatsoever we speak shall not return void, for we are your very word, we are your very substance. Thank you, Lord, that we shall tell demons to be cast out, and they shall be be cause <laughs> our nature is it shall not return void we shall tell cancers to leave and they shall leave because our nature is it shall not return void so thank you for the perfection of this word thank you that it's fruitful thank you for as the rivers Bishon, uh, Gihon, Hidekel uh, and um your friends, we have learned what you've taught us today. We're going to extend our mouth, we're going to speak, uh, going in circles, Havila, the land, the good gold, your word, which it shall burst forth, shall gut forth, shall run like a dart, like the dawn, and it shall be made, shall be made fruitful forever, oh Lord. You've um exalted your word above your name it is settled in heaven forever your word is settled in we are settled in heaven for that is our very nature so we pray that all that we shall speak shall be settled in heaven once and for all peace to our lives we declare that this economic depression shall not have a say a word yes it shall not have a grip on us we operate from the economy of heaven and sorry devil uh, the lord has supplied all our needs exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think yes according to his riches in glory in heaven not according to the economic depression not according to the to the price of of the first foreign exchange or whatever but that is the word and that's how we are creating because uh, the, the, the word says in hebrews 11 3 that um by faith the worlds were framed by the word so we thank you lord that your nature as the word is within us and so we're going to frame the kind of world we want to see the kind of success we want to have the kind of children we want to raise the kind of generation we want to live in we pull down every stronghold we cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself uh, above your knowledge uh, and we thank you god just that just like you told jeremiah in um, jeremiah chapter one I think verse 10, that you've placed your words in our mouth, the very words that do not return void. And Holy Spirit, guide us on as we live our lives to use them well. May God bless you. May he guide you. Know that he has placed his word in your mouth. And his word's nature is, a, it's, it's you, it's you. You are, make, you are made up of the very thing that God is made up of. Oh, wow. I, I pray you are blessed uh, greatly as I have been, as I've shared this with you. God bless you so much and um, see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>